Welcome to our demo on Stack Overflow. So look at this example program right here. Uh, the canonical method for exploiting a stack-based buffer overflow is to overwrite the function return address with a pointer. Copy a value to a local stack variable buffer. Now this works fine for arguments smaller than 11 characters. Any arguments larger than 10 characters will result in corruption of the stack. So there's your parameter. Uh, the maximum number of characters that is safe is one less than the size of the buffer because, as you may know, in the C programming language, strings are terminated by a zero byte character. A 10 character input thus requires 11 bytes to store and the input followed by the sentinel zero byte. Uh, the zero byte then ends up overwriting a memory location that's one byte beyond the end of the buffer. Now, when an argument larger than 11 bytes is supplied to the function f, it overwrites the local stack data, the saved frame pointer, and most importantly, the return address. When function f returns, it pops the return address off the stack and jumps to that address. And what I mean by that is it starts executing instructions from that address. So thus, the attacker has overwritten the return address with a pointer to the stack buffer, char buffer 10 brackets, which now contains attacker supplied data. In an actual stack buffer overflow exploit, the string of this example is demonstrating a stack overflow with segmentation fault would instead be shellcode suitable to the platform and desired function. All right, so now run the program and we'll see the output. Now here's the output of the example program. And as you can see, the output is segmentation fault. And that should give you a better understanding of Stack Overflows.